Welcome to the InClick Ad Server video tutorial for publisher reporting channels. What are publisher reporting channels? Publisher reporting channels is a feature of the InClick Ad Server that gives your publishers the ability to create their own performance reports around specific ad blocks as well as specific pages. With this tool, your publishers now have the ability to perform A-B comparison tests to determine what works and what doesn't. Let's take a look at a typical integration of advertisements into a content page. On this sample page, I've inserted four ad panels in three sections of the page. A leaderboard here at the top, we'll call this top of page. Two rectangles here in the content portion of the page, we'll call these inside article content. And one tower panel here, we'll call this one navigation ads. When a visitor views this page, a page view, a total of 17 individual ads are delivered from these four different ad blocks. Now let's take a look at the reports for this publisher. When I log into my publisher account, the first screen I see is the revenue summary report displaying aggregate data, the total number of individual text ads delivered. For this demonstration, we'll narrow the report to a single day. We'll use March 30th. With our single day in the report, we can see a total of 304 advertisements have been delivered and three clicks have occurred. The UCPM, the CPM based on each individual advertisement, is $3.52. This, however, does not provide insight as to the performance for each placement or for this specific page. To obtain this extra information, we need to create a few publisher reporting channels. To begin reporting on the sections we defined on the sample page, we'll create three custom channels through the Add Custom Channel workflow. I'll name my first custom channel Top of Page. I'll repeat this process for the remaining two sections I wish to track, Inside Article Content and Navigation Ads. In addition to the sections, I would also like to track performance of the sample page specifically. So I'll go on ahead and add a URL-based channel to track this page as well. With our custom publisher channels created, we would now need to update the ad codes for our sample page with the publisher channel IDs we've just created. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will assume the ad codes have been updated. We'll now take a look at the revenue summary report for March 30th. We'll apply our publisher reporting channel filters to give us a bit more insight behind the numbers. On the revenue summary report, I'll select the publisher channel data option to expose the available publisher channel filters I've created. Select the custom channels I wish to view, and then click View to update my report. Note that we now have three rows of information from March 30th, one row for each section of the page. This report also adds two more critical pieces of information, the number of ad block impressions and the corresponding ad block click-through rate. It is important to understand what these numbers represent. Impressions represent individual ads within an ad panel. Ad block impressions represent the panel itself the entire piece of real estate. In this example, the top of page publisher reporting channel, the leaderboard seen here, delivered a total of 27 individual ads in a total of nine ad blocks. By tracking performance of the panel, we can determine what works where and what doesn't. In the case of March 30th, it becomes very clear that advertisements found inside content perform better than any other placement location. Armed with this insight, your publishers can fine-tune the placements of your ads by changing colors, changing locations, or changing ad types while analyzing the effects of those changes. This lets them determine what yields the best result. The bottom line, your publishers increase their revenue, your advertisers' click-through rates increase thanks to the optimally positioned ads, and you, the network operator, improve your bottom line. This concludes the Publisher Reporting Channel's tutorial, and thank you for watching.